Hello everyone, in this video we will create an exercise on abstract contracts. Abstract contracts by definition they are if one of your function inside your contract, one of your functions inside your contract does not have an implementation, then this situation will make your contract an abstract contract. I have prepared this table for the previous contract interaction exercises and just look at this virtual override and this interface. So we can use abstract contract to replace this virtual override. This is a simple virtual override and or we can use it to replace interface so but the thing is interface right now is the is building is the backbone of ethereum ecosystem all the standardization is done with interfaces so we cannot basically remove interfaces and choose abstract contracts that's not going to happen and for that reason even if you can use abstract contracts to create something similar to interface that still will not be it will not be usable because nobody is using it. Nobody is creating ERC20 tokens with abstract contracts. They are creating them with interfaces. Then we have this virtual override here. This is a simple virtual override. You can use abstract contracts to do the same as this virtual override. But the thing is, this is a simple virtual override. And while there is a simple virtual override, why to use a more complex abstract contract virtual override? Because they are doing totally the same thing. And for that reason, you will not need to use abstract contract, but of course you need to know it. And you will not see it often also. So now let's create a contract which will, will which uh, I mean, we will create an abstract contract for this virtual override purpose. And let's now go to Remix. And here we have contract A and contract B. They are both empty. So let's put something inside the contract A. First, we need to uh, tag contract A as abstract, I mean this is a keyword that should come before the contract contract keyword and later we can put uh, a function without implementation as you can see this is a function without implementation, implementation we don't know what this function is doing for now but we know that it will return something, it will return a state variable as it's a view function and later we can actually put any code here so this code is irrelevant but i just want to show you that an abstract contract can contain normal solidity code so now we will try to access this contract from contract b to do that first we need to uh, access the file of the contract a so we can do that by using import statement and later we need to use inheritance we, we will say contract b is a and now we can actually uh, create in an implementation for this contract so grab it paste it here now we can create an implementation for this function but to do that I need to do something more here as you can see this is an external view returns I need to tag this as virtual and I need to tag the other one as override okay that's how it is done and later I can just return a state variable so I will say uint a is equal to 6 and return a you see I mean that's how you do it so we can now deploy contract B we cannot deploy contract a because contract a has a has a has a function which is not which doesn't have an implementation for that reason we cannot deploy abstract contract but we can deploy contract B oops extensionally yeah a uh, contract B is already compiled I guess so now let's deploy it and the only thing that we will do is we will call this get something function it should return number six there it is this function so number six so that's how you can use abstract contracts see you next time bye bye